I legitimately love Thrasher. I love that it's 100% skateboarding, that it doesn't try to be anything that it isn't. It's given the reputation of gnarliness, especially to those who don't skate, but it really is just skateboarding. Now, obviously Thrasher has impacted street culture or fashion culture majorly because they position themselves as a merit earned. If you don't skateboard at all, don't wear our stuff and don't read our magazine. Bold statement, but effective as hell. Skateboarding has one of the toughest barriers of entry out there. Out of any creative pursuit or any sport, it takes a very long time to even seem like you kind of know what you're doing. So Thrasher just believes that you have to earn that right to wear their gear and they put it out there publicly. Now, obviously I could care less if you skate or don't skate, if you wear Thrasher or don't, but Thrasher wasn't always this cool. They've done things in the past that, uh, <laughs> like this poll I found, which board company are you? Now, this might not seem silly, but it's very BuzzFeed-esque. And skaters, of course, look down on this because usually things like this are layered with a type of prejudice or something that's just so trivial. Kind of like, do you listen to rap music? Because if you do, you probably ride for DGK. Things like that exist out in the world. So let's just take this quiz. Which board company are you? Skate quiz. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't kind of excited about this. Which is your ideal wheel size? So I'm gonna go with 52 to 55 millimeters. When you whine about how skating was better back in the day, what year do you mean? Like half of this quiz is like blocked out. You can't even see it. No complaints. These are the days and they always have been. I agree. What is this flip trick? I'm guessing a switch front side heel flip, Jaron Wilson. NBD means never been done, but Nacho Burrito Demento sounds nice. In my opinion, Skulls, that's hilarious. Yeah, Skulls, what is this, the 80s? I've never cared about Skulls, I'll be honest. Have you ever written an angry online comment? I don't think so. I shouldn't say no. I don't know if I have. I have. I've definitely written angry retorts back to angry comments to me. Does that count? I'm gonna say yes. Park it. Do you watch skate videos on a smartphone every single day? Wow, now everyone watches skate videos on a smartphone, so. What's the biggest frontside grind you've ever done on transition? I mean, let's be honest, um, four to eight feet, probably, that's pretty embarrassing. Have you ever had someone yell skate or die in your direction? I can't, like it's blacked out for some reason. I, yeah, of course, I'm from South Carolina. My dream spot is a Marble Street Plaza. Out of all those, Marble Street Plaza. A hard flip is a, I mean, it's a kickflip frontside shove it, but I do, I'm gonna say some bullshit. Who has the best frontside indie air? I'm, I'm gonna go with Grant Taylor. He's from Atlanta, that's right next to me. I grew up, he was one of my favorite skaters growing up. When's the last time you watched a skate video on a VCR? Uh, five years or more. I can't remember the last time at all. Have you ever done a flip trick out of a manual? Yeah, I don't know what that's implying. Favorite skate tunes? Oh, favorite skate tunes? Because the picture is Gigi Allen, so I'm just gonna say, out of these, Gigi Allen, truth is none of the above. Your board company is zero. <laughs> That's hilarious. That actually makes a lot of sense because I feel like a lot of people who are my age probably grew up idolizing zero as a brand. So a lot of what I like about skating is kind of layered in there. But I did find two more of these quizzes, one that is just preposterous and the other one that's just a huge troll one. But before I do that, I have to skate. Just like that, just like that. Welcome to the worst day in New York City so far this year, the windiest day that has ever happened in all of existence. <laughs>
The next one is just from a website called GoToQuiz and it says, what kind of skater are you? Now that one, in skateboarding everyone has their own style, but there are three main styles of skating, completely not true by any measure. You can be a punk raw hardcore kid, a dirty ghetto kid, or an average Joe, which is kind of the middle of those two. I mean, that's horrible. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. But which are you? You like hitting up a buttery ledge, doing backflips on 10 set rails, or are you just an all around sick skater? This is the test to find out which skater you are. I'm dying inside. What kind of pants do you prefer? A baggy, gotta be comfortable. I don't know, I'd say baggy. Baggy, I mean, nowadays like, Skaters just wear baggy your pants because they realize that it's easier to move around and I think. What kind of skating do you prefer? I would probably say that I'm closer to more tech stuff than even in the middle. Like I think I'm just tech more. Which of the following tricks is more appealing to you? A nollie heel flip I would say is my favorite. Which spot is more appealing to you? Say a good park with a variety of terrain. What kind of music do you listen to while you skate? I mean, this is the worst answer ever, but I mean, out of all of those, I'd say I'll listen to anything as long as it's decent. I listen to jazz a lot and podcast randomly. If someone is kicking you out of a spot, you be polite and leave. That's always, that's the easiest way to avoid getting in trouble. And it makes sense why you're not supposed to be there. So I feel like if you're like a logical person, you just, you leave. You're in Academy Skate Park. The first thing you hit up is, what? I don't know what the hell that is. Banks and ledges. Which pro do you like best? I mean, Costin was always my favorite skater growing up, always. I idolized his ass. You like your trucks in the middle, probably. You've been trying a trick all day and still can't land at you. I try something you know you can do just so I feel good as I'm leaving. Okay, submit answers. Average Joe skater. Kind of in the middle, hits up some bangers, but does some tech stuff as well. And all around good skater, occasionally vert skater, never. Uh, some average Joe's whatever blah, blah. it says bob burnquist is an average joe he's definitely a vert skater i'm more of a get i'm 59 percent ghetto skater and zero percent punk skater that is the worst now before we get into the jankum one i want to get another session i have to land some tricks so the goal for me is to try a nollie back nose blunt I've never done it on this thing, but I just have a feeling that I could try it. But I'm nervous. It's still early, I'm still warming up. But I might just try one, see what happens. Nolly back nose blunt, out ledge. It's a flat ledge, what's the worst? I'm not gonna say that. Here we go. My first ever nollie back nose blunt. I'm sure you're picking this up by now, but those sessions obviously aren't today. <laughs> that was just in South Carolina for four days, skated a ton and it completely wore my body out. And now I'm kind of just like trying to cruise today, but I have all this footage that I want you guys to see anyways. But I think it's time that we take the last Jankum quiz. What part of a skateboard are you? Clearly they're just trolling, but I've always loved these guys. I grew up, these, this was my favorite magazine growing up. It just matched my trolliness i guess if you get the chance even reading the beginning paragraph is beautiful your tinder match hits you up to hang out what do you do with them i mean look at the options jesus i'm gonna say what tinder matches you just picked up some weed how are you going to get high i don't know dabs just because i'm trying to be terrible you're getting kicked out of a spot what's the last thing you do i like that it highlights the answer that it thinks you should pick pack it up chug the rest of your tall boy and hit up the next spots um honestly number two i try to like buddy buddy up the cops and try to get them to give me another try you're at a bar and the bartender brings you the regular what does he give you i mean i'm kind of the worst i'm just gonna say like a whiskey neat i don't i don't know i don't really drink that often but i try to get something you're flipping through your tv and you see that street league is on what do you do <laughs> flip to cinemax and hopefully catch some dirty boots <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, out of these, probably see what's on the Discovery Channel. I, I feel like I'm just gonna be like, the, whatever the most hipster thing is. If you're not skating, you can be found. In your room with your incognito browser up. I know what you're trying to say, but I am mostly on my computer doing work. Um, not watching porn 24 seven, but I'm just gonna answer it that way. You go into the bathroom at a bar, what's the first thing you do? Pee, what else would you, I mean, yeah, I would pee. I mean, snort whatever the guy next to you hands you sounds funny, but pee. 
the best era in music was i don't it's funny they're trolling this whole idea of like what era was the coolest because skaters are so nostalgic in that way but i don't care about eras i don't i like don't romanticize anything ever i'm just gonna say we're living it lil yachty all day fam you just filmed a clip what camera was your filmer using my iphone it's on instagram right now that's exact one that one is actually 100% accurate. In 10 years, you see yourself doing whatever I want whenever I want to. That's actually literally my life, so click that. Where's the wildest place you've ever had sex? They don't seem to have, I've never had sex before. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Honestly, I probably own like 13 pairs, so I'm just gonna click maybe like 25 pairs. Honestly, probably closer to that than the others. What kind of posters do you have up in your room? Out of all these things, I'm gonna say inspirational quotes. I, I do actually like them, it's kind of a guilty pleasure, so. Your preferred social media is, it doesn't even have Instagram as an option. Twitter, out of these, definitely Twitter. Bearing, all right. Do you ever feel like you're trapped and can never seem to get out of your funk? Well then, you're the bearings. Isolated from pretty much everything, finicky and super sensitive to even the slightest bits of grits and grime. Often alone, you try not to cause too much of a scene, but when something bothers you, you sure as hell aren't afraid to stop the whole show by busting your balls out all over your place. Oh my God. Leave it to Jankum to make something so lame, so cool. I, those guys rule so hard and uh, that's hilarious. And that's not accurate at all. I actually, that, I think that's a bad description of who I am. Now I'm being defensive, why is that? So one fun thing I've been doing all day is actually dropping off merchandise all over Manhattan. It's something I'll be doing a lot more of. So on my Instagram, if you follow me, you've been seeing that I'm like, yo, dropped off this here, this here, this here. So if you're anywhere in Manhattan or Brooklyn, keep an eye on my Instagram story to find things that I'm just like leading places. But even though I am sore, I did actually skate a little bit at that first courthouse. I basically did these flat ground tricks that I like to do if my body is kind of in pain. It's kind of an easy way, but it still is good practice. But I'm gonna end the video with that. So right now I'm gonna say thank you for watching. I will see your face next time, every Tuesday and Thursday for a new video on this channel. I also have an anime channel. 100% recommend go checking out the newest video. Now they're actually getting some traction. People are really excited about the reaction videos my brother and I are doing. So peep game, everything, all the links in the description down below. I'll see you next time. Human beings, I love you so much. Progress daily and keep going.